Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in R tutorial series. So this will be kind of the last episode of the series for a while because the entire month of February we have been doing data visualization. So this is actually the 28th uh, video of this tutorial series. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, from next month onwards, we'll be looking into something maybe like how to do SQL in R or working with raster data or something like that. We will figure that out. But for today, we'll be playing around with legends and we will be looking at three main important things. First, we will see how to draw legends within the main plot and then we will see how to change the legend background and also the border size and we will also see how to visualize the legends horizontally so let's install the package so this we don't actually need it so this was for the yesterday's video where we tried uh, creating multiple plots so if you're interested in that i will leave a link to those videos so for now we will just install the ggplot2 package and we will create a sample data frame so this data frame has four columns with trees location height and standard deviation and we will also create a sample bar plot so our plot looks like this and so see here the legend is outside so now we will try to move this inside so that we can save some space and when we publish the data it will look better so for that what we need to use is the theme function and within the theme we will mention the legend position and we can play around with the positioning here so this is the x and y so now it's here so if we want to move it a bit more interior and a bit more towards the top you can do that yeah so it looks way better so based on the size of your plot you can change the legend position and manipulate where the legend will be displayed instead of just using these you can just mention something like left and it will oops yeah it will just display it towards the left side but again this is outside so if you see uh, the first time it was on the right side if you use the left it will just move to the left side but if you want to have it within the plot you will still need to manipulate it based on the x and y i just thought of showing you this as well and now let's try to change the let's run this code again yeah so now let's try to change the uh, legend direction so which means that instead of displaying it as vertical we'll be trying to display it in an horizontal fashion so if you run this code now yeah it's uh it looks horizontal but again you will have to play around with this now let's get back to our original one now I wanted to show you a few other things which will be very handy like changing the background of the legend and also the borders to make it look more attractive. For that what we need to use is the legend dot background function. So let's have that. We will use the element underscore rectangle. So it's just going to create a rectangular box behind and we will manipulate the color of it so we will give it color to be black and then we can also give the fill so i have mentioned this a couple of times in my previous video so the color here just represent the background like the outline i mean not the background yeah and the fill is the place where we actually give the color like what to fill this width so if you run this code let's just run this code so see this is a uh, like we gave the border to be black and we filled it with green and we can also change the border size here so maybe we will keep it to one 
and instead of this uh, line here we can uh, change it to something like dashed or maybe we will have it dotted and also I think it's better to change this green color to say something like gold it might look better yeah so if you run this code we get this result I think the legend looks great we can even manipulate the background of these plots to make it kind of aligned to this legend and I actually have another video on that so if you guys are interested in uh, learning how to manipulate the background of the main plot and to change the colors or the way it's being represented I will attach a link to that video as well well that's all for now so we will again catch up tomorrow with another video on a different topic ciao